Merry Vlogmas. Hey guys, it's Kayla. Welcome to my channel. Normally we talk about all things Disney, but today we are doing something a little bit different. This month I am doing Vlogmas, which if you aren't sure what that is, basically I'm uploading a new video every single day that has something kind of Christmassy themed. Today's a little less Christmassy, but still kinda. <laughs> Um, but I have one of these videos for every single day of the month. Uh, so if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of our fun content that we are doing throughout the month. Today, what we are going to be doing is a DIY. It's DIY day. And today what we are making is these cute little headbands. So you guys have probably seen me wear these in the past, um, and just random videos and also like a lot on, on our trip. I love these because you can still make them fun and Disney themed, but they're a little more comfortable to wear than yours. Um, they're super trendy right now and I really like making them and it's super easy as long as you know how to use a machine, <laughs> a sewing machine. Uh, so today I am going to show you guys how to make these. We are, I found this really cute Olaf um, frozen fabric uh, from, from Joann's and this is what we're going to use today. Okay, so to start off, we need all of our supplies. The first one I have is this really fun Olaf material. I found that at Joann's, uh, but you can use any kind of, of fabric that you want. You are going to need some in uh, fusible interfacing. Uh, you don't need a ton, it's mainly going to be for the knot, uh, like the bow part of your headband. You are also going to need a headband. I just use a really thin metal headband that I found on Amazon. And then uh, as far as cutting tools, I am using a rotary cutter. You can use scissors. Uh, it's really just kind of what you have. And then last but not least, you are going to need some thread and a needle with, uh, of course, your scissors or a hot glue gun. Okay, so step number one with your fabric. I, because again, I'm using my rotary blade, I'm gonna do this actually with my fabric folded. If you are using scissors, I would encourage you to just do one layer or one piece at a time. Okay, so uh, my first piece is going to be the long side. That is gonna be the part that actually goes on your headband and that I'm gonna do at about 16 and a half inches. So I'm gonna line all my fabric up. And I don't know how well you guys can see, but I have my numbers kind of all lined out here. Um, if you, again, if you don't have a cutting board, just use a ruler and kind of measure out and mark with a pin where your 16 and a half inches is going to be. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that because that makes it a little easier for me. And I just do a few little pieces. So now going the opposite way, your the width of your band is going to be two and a half inches. So with my other piece, um, I have kind of lines that go along the edges of this too. It's a little out of the frame, but basically you just want to make sure that this is the width of this is two and a half inches. So I'm going to kind of measure that with my ruler and you're going to do the same thing and you're just going to kind of do a few little marks just across the way to make sure everything lines up. So you can't really see it because I know there's a lot of pattern, but I have a really faint line drawn. Um, now if you are worried about your lines showing, you can do this with your fabric, the right sides or like the pretty side of the fabric facing in. So you're drawing on where you're writing on the inside of the material on this side, um, that way you don't have to worry about any pin marks. The nice thing, I'm drawing very lightly and most of that is on the edge anyway, so it's gonna get covered up when we sew here in a minute too. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my blade and I'm actually just gonna cut out uh, the piece that I just traced out. 
Now I have this little extra piece, so I'm gonna cut, go ahead and just cut the end of that off. Sweet, so that is piece number one. And I actually have two pieces. Now here in a minute, we'll actually round these out into the shape, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my smaller piece going. So really similar to the long piece, we're kind of going to do the same steps. They're just going to be a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm actually going to do this. This is going to be the bow on your headband, and I'm going to make that at um, 12 and a half inches. So same exact process, line your fabric up where it needs to go and mark at 12 and a half inches. And then same thing, the width is exactly the same, so two and a half inches, so you're gonna do basically that exact same step. Okay, so then once your line is drawn, you're, again, you're just gonna cut that out. Sweet, so now, once you're finished with that, you should have two short pieces and the two longer pieces. So four all together. Now I'm gonna show you how we're going to kind of round this out so that it'll have a little bit more of that point shape. Okay, so for this next step, we're going to, now these are just some little templates that I've made. These are kind of just the shapes that I kind of like. You don't have to use this. Honestly, I would just kind of make up your own and see kind of the curve that you want. Maybe experiment with a few pieces of scrap fabric first. Um, but so this first piece I'm doing, this is the bow. Um, and then I just kind of have my template and I've kind of sh changed the shape of this a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to line that up on there. And then we're just going to trace around it. Now, I see have a little bit of this flat edge here and I kind of want this to be a little bit more pointed. So I am going to kind of trim off just a little bit. There we go. So something like that. This is going to make it a little easier when I'm stitching to make sure that it is even on both sides. Now, I want this side to be exactly the same on the other side. So instead of using my cardboard piece, I'm actually going to use my material and fold that over. Now, if you again, if you're using that rotary blade, be very careful because you don't want to cut like all the layers, you just want to cut these. Um, so you're gonna just trace kind of what you've already done. So now your bow piece should look a little bit like that. Um, here in a second, we're gonna put some interfacing on this just to make it a little bit more stiff, but let's go ahead and do the same thing, but with the headband. Okay, so same way. Now, something that I have done with the headband versus the bow, and this kind of just gives you an idea. Your headband can be a little bit more narrow of a point um, because it's going to be on your headband and you don't want a ton of extra bulk. Your bows, you want to feel a little bit more fluffy and so you want those to be a little bit wider. Um, so when I made these, essentially what I did was I started cutting further down on the headband and I started cutting a little further up on the bow. So we're gonna do kind of that same thing if you have your template made, if not, that's okay. You can kind of freehand it and see um, what you like. But so f let's say that this was the bow. I would honestly be starting to cut probably up here to get that steeper, um, or sorry, to get that less steep uh, kind of angle. With these, I'm actually gonna start cutting a little further down so that it's kind of a more gradual line. Awesome. Now this one, it's okay if you have a little bit of um, a flat edge. Uh, these ones you don't necessarily need to be as pointed as your bow. So again, we're gonna do the same thing that we did before to make sure that both sides of our fabric are um, kind of matching. So I just fold mine over and we cut it. And then that is our headband piece. So I'll let you see these kind of side by side. 
so you can tell that this is kind of it's almost like a fatter angle whereas this one is just a little bit longer skinnier kind of look okay so here's my piece of interfacing I've kind of already cut it a little bit smaller from my big bolt just so that it was a little easier for you guys to see um, but literally all we're gonna do is stick your pieces on the interfacing like so and then I'm just gonna kind of roughly trace this with my rotary blade I don't do it super exact to start with just because once you iron it on it it shifts and so I kind of trim it up a little bit afterwards so I'm just gonna kind of go around so something kind of just to that effect now, whenever you do interfacing, very important, um, with iron-on interfacing, you want to make sure the side that has the adhesive is facing the wrong side of your fabric. So this is what's going to be on the inside, and then my kind of adhesive gluey, or I like, it's, I call it the bumpy part, because um, it has those little bumps where the adhesive is. Um, those need to be facing each other. So I'm going to go iron this on. I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. So now these are all attached together, um, and then I just need to trim off some of this excess. Again, it doesn't have to be perfectly matching up because a lot of that's gonna get hidden on the inside anyway, um, but I am gonna cut off like these big random pieces. Now, if you don't have interfacing, you can skip this step. It's not like the end of the world. This just kind of helps your bow have a little bit more shape. Um, and kind of have a little bit fuller look and not be quite as floppy, but really that's just your personal preference and what you like. Okay, so when you're done, they should look like this. And then you have your interfacing on the back. So our next step is actually going to be to stitch all of this together. So you are gonna take your two bow pieces and you're gonna put the right sides or the pretty sides together and this you do want to make sure that they line up pretty evenly um, that way it makes your stitching a lot easier if you need to pin around the edges to help you that is a-okay i'm somebody that i don't like to pin so i'm not going to do that but um, if it does help you to kind of stabilize stick just a couple pins in there um, and then we are going to head over to our sewing machine okay so first we're going to do our bow piece um, so what you need to do, again, make sure everything is lined up really close as you can. And then we are actually going to start stitching kind of almost in the middle here. You're going to leave about a inch and a half, two inch gap here so that you can fold this inside out. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start kind of somewhere in the middle there and I stitch mine I just kind of keep the edge of my fabric lined up with the edge of my presser foot um, so we're gonna go ahead and just do that now there so now you can see we have kind of just a little almost like a little pocket in there and that's what we're gonna use to flip this inside out Okay, so now that we've done our bow, we are gonna kind of do almost the exact same thing with the long pieces for the headband. So again, you're gonna put the pretty sides or the wrong, or sorry, you're gonna put the pretty sides or the right sides together. Um, now these pieces you'll notice don't have the interfacing. You don't wanna do interfacing on this because you want, um, whenever you're gonna tie your bow, you want your material to easily be able to bunch up um, at that point. So these you just want to be only the fabric, no interfacing. So now that those are right sides together, we're going to go and stitch around the edges. We're gonna do this just a little bit differently. Next, we're going to do our headband piece. So we're gonna do almost the exact same process, but instead of doing it on the middle, we're actually gonna do it on, we're gonna leave our little pocket on the end so that your headband can go through. So again, make sure that everything is lined up really nicely. Um, and then we are going to start kind of about here. Um, so my pocket is going to end up being right here. So when we come back around that corner, we're not going to go all the way and meet up. We're going to stop about right here. So let's do this. 
So here you can kind of see, not really, but this is where I have my pocket. There, so you can kind of see, so here's the end, and my pocket got a little small, but that'll be kind of where my little pocket is. Okay, so now that you have all of your um, pieces sewn, the next step is actually going to be the, to flip these inside out. If you need to cut your corners, if you have a little bit too much excess on the ends, just kind of snip a little bit of that off. Just make sure you don't cut your threads. Um, and then we are actually gonna flip these inside out. Okay, so obviously these don't really look super cute. So first what we need to do is turn these corners out and then we will press this. Um, so to do this, if you have like a corner um, press thing, cool. I don't, so I honestly just use a pen. So you're just gonna kinda go in your little opening and you're gonna poke kinda the point of your pen up into that corner and it's going to kind of just turn turn that corner out into a nice little point okay now that I've done that step I need to press these out and so just make sure your corner or this your seams are kind of pulled out as much as you can and then just go ahead and press those I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. So now your pieces are pretty much done. Um, all that's really left is to assemble this. Um, now, if you want to, you can stitch your um, opening back together um, for your bow or if you want you can like just do a little dop of hot glue uh, honestly I have found that whenever I um, knot these the knot is literally right there <laughs> um, so I don't really have to worry about it but I would say if you want the easiest thing just put a little tiny dot of hot glue right there press that together just so that it's nice and tight um, and then you don't want to close your opening on this yet on your headband piece because this is actually where you're gonna stick your headband through and then I will show you how to finish that off here in a minute so let me grab my headband and we will start assembling this thing Okay, so this is the headband that I am using. Um, I found these on Amazon. They're just these little wire headbands. I like that they are so light and they're really comfortable on your head. Um, so if I can find that link, I'll see if I can um, put that in the description. But that was where I found these and you can get them in like big packs. I am using silver so that way it's not showing through my material too much. Um, but all I am going to do now is take my headband piece, find that little hole, and I'm just actually gonna slip my headband through. Cool, just like that. So now your piece of fabric is on your headband and to tie our bow, so you're going to take your little knot piece and put it, and I kind of do mine a little bit off center, uh, just because you don't necessarily want the bow right on top of your head. I mean, maybe you do, that's fine. I like mine a little off center. Um, and then you're literally just going to tie this into a knot. So all that is left is to close up our little hole that our headband went through. You can, kind of like the bow, you can do just a little dot of hot glue or you can actually do um, kind of like a little ladder stitch or um, invisible stitch right in there. Um, I'll kind of show you guys how to do that. I find that that's a little bit nicer of a finish, um, but let me grab my tools and we will do that next. Okay, so I'm using my giant needle so that you can guys can hopefully see what I'm doing, but you don't you don't need a lot of thread, just a little bit. I do double mine up just because it's a little bit stronger. That's honestly just personal preference on what you like to do. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you're gonna go in this opening and your first stitch is going to kind of go, you're gonna go inside and then go a little bit further back. That is so that your knot is on the inside of your fabric. Um, and it's not going to be poking out. So then now that I've done that, I'm actually going to turn it and I'm going to do, I call this a ladder stitch because um, once it's all kind of done, it looks almost like a ladder. And so all you do is you just do a little stitch 
and then you do a little stitch on the other side. And of course my thread is gonna knot on me because it always does. So let me see if I can open this up wide so that you can see. Um, so you can see my little stitch just kind of goes across. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my next set of stitch. I'm gonna go on this side and then I'm gonna go on this side. So we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so I'm leaving it loose so that you guys can see. So now you can kind of see, it almost looks like a little ladder. And then you're gonna finish this across the whole edge of it. And then at the end, you're just gonna pull it tight. Um, so let me go ahead and finish and then I will show you um, kind of that last step. Okay, so that is pretty much done. However, you don't want it to look like this. So then all your next step is, is actually just gonna be to pull that tight and it's gonna pucker for a second. Smooth it back out. And then that's it. So then now that is all sealed up, all you have left to do, then you just knot your thread off pretty easy. And then that's it, you're done. Okay, that is, let me show you the right side. <laughs> that is your finished product. You made your headband. Let's see what this looks like on. All right, that's it. Here they are. What do you guys think? I love this Olaf print. That's really stinking cute. Um, very fun for Christmas too. So, you know. Uh, that is pretty much how you make these. Very easy project. As long as you know how to use a sewing machine, um, it's mostly just straight lines. So, very, very easy. I love these little headbands because not only can you wear them in the parks, but I've also made some that are just kind of some normal print fabric that I honestly wear these all the time. Like dirty hair, throw your hair up, pop one of these little things on, super cute. Um, so I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got all kinds of stuff planned for the rest of this month, as well as there is a really, really big surprise coming. So just wait for it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave those down in the comments below. Uh, did you enjoy this DIY? Please let me know that too. Uh, I always love interacting with you guys, but I hope you enjoyed this video. That is all I have for you guys today. I'll see you next time. Bye.